Okay, I'm back and back again. After just giving a spiel about Amber Mundy, my childhood bully, and the down on luck life that she's living, and the interesting in her fate in life that she's been got in her, and how I'm relishing in the karma that's biting her in the ass right now. Right now, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I hope Melanie. Oh. Okay, nobody got to tell. Don't go back. But yeah, it could be another. You know, there's so many of them. Anyway. But, I'm just. I'm wait. I'm, I'm relishing every minute of this, you know? If even I said names or whatever, you know what? Amber should have done what she did, you know? She know people going to talk about her. Hey, Lee. You know, if anybody got anybody got any sense, if anybody's got any sense that's had to deal with her, you know, and been friends with her and had to go through the shit with her and all that and deal with her bullshit, you know, I'm sure they're going not gonna have anything to say. So it don't matter who says what, you know. People are gonna talk when you do shit. When, when, when people gonna people gonna talk when you do shit like Amber does, you know. People gonna be like Amber don't understand. Amber does. She just understands. She expects to be able to do shit and get away with it. Well, ain't everybody gonna let you get away? Let her get away with shit, you know? Hey, Stefan, what's up? But kind of going back to the subject that goes to the subject that was uh, I don't know what episode that Miss Leslie uh, Downtown Leslie Brown had on her show. What Wednesday episode it was, but she had one. She was asking one question on the show about holding grudges. What's the longest you hold a grudge? Do you hold any grudge? But damn. <laughs> this girl like bullied me when I was in junior high and high school. How long was that? 30 years? Been 30 years ago. Yep. Yeah. And I'm still holding grudge against the bitch. Yes, the fuck I am. I'm not letting go of it. Not letting go. It's going to be hard to let go. Especially when she hadn't learned from him, you know, especially when she's still out there doing the same shit now. I wish I would just run into her in the street and her fuck come up here and try to fuck with me like you used to. This is, I'll, I'll tell you what, I, I, I'll dog walk her at. I'm ready to just dog walk her. I mean, it's just, I'm telling you, when you go, when you go through abuse like that, and then all of a sudden you, you know, you go through abuse, it, it really affects you. It affects you. It's like the people in Indiana, whatever, uh, Oh, boy. And like I said, you talk about some people just don't hold a grudge that long. But I tell you, I mean, there was a guy now. There was this dude that was talking about his uh, childhood bullying. But he you know, I kind of feel bad for him because his, uh, this, uh, the guy that bullied him is now a superintendent. And this guy is now on disability. So it kind of didn't pan out well for him. I, I really feel sorry for him. See, that's what's wrong with schools. Why kids are getting bullied in school. They're hiring bullies to teach our kids. and Childhood bullies are teaching them. Hiring them to be our teachers and superintendents. You know, how does that do anything? How does that, how does that, uh, tackling anything about the bullying problems that we have. Kids are just mean. Kids are just mean. Especially when you just let them get away with When you let them get away with shit, don't put your foot down. That's what's wrong with Amber. What's wrong with nobody's ever ever had any fucking kids. But I guess Mark was the one that did Mark just feel sorry? Did Mark Jenna felt just feel sorry for Amber or what? 
As I can tell, he didn't want to be with her. It's like he would actually laugh at some of the stupid shit she said. Oh, man. Her brain is a mess. Her brain is fried. Oh, God. I'm sure it gets tired. Can you imagine that? Hold a grudge against somebody for 30 years. <laughs> I'm sure somebody had been there, but this guy that was up there in a, a school meeting, talking about the superintendent, he looked like he would have been probably older than me. But some of the stuff he said the guy did was terrible. Man, he went up in that damn, he went up in that meeting and let them people know how that superintendent really was. I wonder what will happen to him after this. But it's a relief that I'm finding out that my childhood bully's living the life she deserves. But anywho, that's what I got to say about that piece. Feeling tired again. I've been sleeping most of this fucking day. Why do I gotta feel so tired? My face is red. It ain't good. Hey, Rondell, what's up? Well, let me tell you something else about the childhood bully that just came to mind. Yep. Well, I don't see why Missy's still friends with her, but Missy is one girl I grew up with. She was crippled, and when she walks, she tends to fall down and stuff. But Amber laughs and makes fun of her every time she falls down. And I'm sitting here like, okay, why is Missy still friends with her for doing that? And if I had fell down because I couldn't help if I couldn't walk, and somebody made fun of me like that, laughed, I laugh. I'm going to look at it. I got other things I can laugh at as far as her. I laugh at how messed up she fucking is. Laugh at where her life is. Shit. All the... All the bad luck she's having, all the bad things happening to her in her life. I'm laughing about that. She wants to laugh at me about, she's thinking I'm retarded and slow. But shit, I'll show her how retarded and slow I am. I wish she would just come at me. Come at me now, bitch. Come at me now. You know what? She would, I don't know if she'd actually have the nut. The nerve. I wonder if she would actually have the nerve to bring her ass up to Louisville. To uh, bring her ass to Louisville. But she don't even leave Cincinnati. She don't even leave Mount Washington and East Bend to go anywhere. So she's nearly never. She rarely leaves. But best that she don't because she's so fucked up. But I'm just getting a joy and excitement out of this. I'm just. Waiting to hear what else is next. Hear what else is next. <clears throat> mm. I kind of wonder now. Is she even working a job? Because she can't keep a job. She should be on a check. Does she act like she's too poor. Say she can't afford a phone bill. Her brother pays a phone bill every month. That's all they've done. <laughs> giving Amber this and giving Amber that. And here she acts the way she does. I'm surprised her mama's still alive after dealing with the stress of her. I feel sorry for her mama. But her mama just let her do too much shit, too. Her mama should have... Only time her mama put her foot down was when she got in trouble with the with Rex Elam. And she came home and from 2020 and her mom pretty much had her on lockdown in the house until it was time for her to go to Hillcrest but after that 
Just let it go. You know what? That was the only time Amber was calling me and trying to hook up with me again. It was after she got in trouble. She was all down and out and shit. I know better. She'll call when she needs something. That's all I got to say on that matter. Um, I have been wanting to talk about being a star, starting out being an actor, a musician at a later age. But I'll probably talk about that sometime tomorrow if I get around to it. At the time, I need to go lay down, go to bed, I guess. Good night. <laughs>